If we go to the third window, so we go back to the first, this is the first, the acquisition window for a single point analyses. If we go to the third window, this is the mapping window, and we can either use this to make a map of the entire area, which is this button right here, or make a map of part of the area, which is this button, or make a transect analysis, which is here. And so this is useful if you want to see zoning across one or more minerals. For example, if I want to, let's say I'll make a, a partial map here, and I'm going to map this area only. The software will bring up these images down at the bottom here as it's analyzing for different elements. And it also has the EDS spectrum here, which you can zoom in and again. And you can, just like the point analyses, say I don't want tellurium, I'm not so sure about bromine being there. Um, and so you can choose which elements you want to map, and the maps are shown down here at the bottom. So as we're going, you can see what elements it's actually mapping here. And if you want, um, there's a composite image at the top. So if you decide you don't want to map certain elements, you can unclick them at the bottom here, and then they won't map it. So if I don't want to map oxygen, I should be able to just come in here and double click off of it and show the big major composite again here. Right, and now oxygen's not in the main image. So I can choose which ones I actually want to make um, as maps. But it's really pretty interesting because you can see zoning in different minerals very clearly um, with some of these element maps. So if I do choose something like zirconium down here, okay, I'm going to blow it up for this picture right here, you can clearly see the zirconium is concentrated in the zircon mineral that we imaged earlier. So these are pretty neat and you can kind of pick and choose what looks important for your sample to plot. So here's some potassium rich area in this area below the zircon for example. To make a transect, just use the transect button here, and then you can draw the cross section you want to analyze across the sample, and then it will create compositions across that transect. So you can hopefully see this part here, let me zoom in, Right here is a slice of the backscattered electron image showing your transect. And the data as it's collected across the transect is plotted above it. And the color codes, each different color is a different element. And they are marked just like the mapping down here at the bottom. And so you can scroll back and forth and choose which elements you want to map or not map. So if I'm not really interested in tellurium again, because I don't think it's there, I can uncheck it. If I am interested in zircon, because there's a zircon and zirconium there, then I want to check that. You can also see all of them together at once here across the transect. And this is the same as for the maps. Once you finish this, you can save all of this 